Hey everybody, this is Brother Paxton. I'm coming to you today from Copemish, Michigan, and I want to share a word from 1 John chapter 4 as we talk a little bit more about the love of God. In verse 10, here's what the Bible says. Herein is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the perpetuation for our sins. You know, a lot of times we think that we initiated salvation. Uh, I've said it, you've said it, you know, well, I came to Jesus. But I want you to know that God initiated that. It was the Holy Spirit that was calling you. It was the Holy Spirit that was wooing you and drawing you to Christ because God first loved us and then we loved him. Verse 11, beloved, if God so loved us, how did, how did God so love us? He sent Jesus to be the perpetuation for our sins. If God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. And that's where we get hung up is because I don't think so many times people realize just exactly uh, how bad they were, how bad sin is in the eyes of God, and how much that Jesus forgave them of. So they sometimes have a hard time forgiving other people when they perceive that they've done them wrong. And that's a very dangerous place for a Christian to be in. Because if God so loved us that he would die on a cross for us, we should not be withholding forgiveness or love to anyone. And that's God's will and that's God's plan uh, for the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 12, no man hath seen God at any time. Okay, so this isn't in here, but in the Greek grammar, because that's true, that's not in the Bible. Okay, I, I said those words, but it's in the grammar. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected in us. That's called sanctification, and that is a lifetime process. That's a lifelong situation where we are being sanctified to look more and more and more like Jesus. So in this devotion, here's my point. We need to examine ourselves. The Bible tells us that. And we need to make sure that we are walking in the love of God towards others, especially Let's don't say even those who've done us wrong. Let's say especially toward those who have done us wrong. Because that's when we're most like Jesus. That's when we're most like God. So basically, we've all been done wrong and people have all, we've all been hurt by other people. Let it go. Get over it and show the love of God that he first loved you with now let it radiate from your life to others as we see God bring in a last day's harvest of souls before the soon coming rapture of the church. In Jesus' name. This is Brother Paxton. Beautiful April day here in northern Michigan saying, go with God. He will go with you. Bless you.